Hey there, it's been a while. <laughs> um, it has been a really long time since I picked up the camera and I started filming, so I thought today would be the perfect day to start. I actually just got COVID a couple of days ago. I'm feeling a lot better. There were a couple of days where I was feeling very rough, but things are looking better now, so I wanted to take the time to make a video because I was going to make a video the day I tested positive for COVID and then I started feeling terribly. So, welcome back. I don't know what it looks like outside where you guys are from, but today where I am from, it's beautiful. So what I wanna do is I want to do some spring cleaning today. Things have become a little bit messy because I haven't been feeling well, I haven't been wanting to clean. It's been survival of the fittest. So. That's what today's going to be. I also really want to take a look at my plants, see how they are doing. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about my plants completely. They're still alive. Some of them are not alive and well, but that's what we're going to be taking care of today. This weather has definitely put me in the mood to start taking better care of my plants. I don't know about you guys, but I'm actually just looking out at the tree that's outside of my window right now and there are little buds on it, which is so exciting. It means that spring is here and we're gonna start seeing some leaves on some trees soon. Um, but I have a lot to catch you guys up on in this video. So it's obviously going to be a little bit of chores, um, cleaning, plant chores, whatever, but I also want to chat. I think I forgot how to use my camera. But anyways, I wanted to give you guys an update on my beautiful philodendron gloriosum. As you guys know, this is one of my favorite plants. It's also one of your favorite plants. This guy could definitely use some water, which I will take care of today. Um, you can see just because the leaves are getting a little bit droopy, but everything is looking good. This is one of the newer leaves. I am seeing some damage on this leaf here, some spider mite damage, but I think that this is old damage. I remember I showed you guys on camera me kind of washing this one off because it did have spider mites, but I don't see any actively crawling. I don't see any webbing, which is a really good sign, especially because I haven't really touched it much. And if it was infested with spider mites, it would probably have some webbing. So the fact that this new leaf is looking good and it's just um, spottiness on these old leaves makes me think that we're okay. Yeah, um, it did just lose or it is in the process of losing this old leaf here. This was actually one of the original leaves, which is so funny. This was a plant that I got almost two years ago now, I think. Yeah, I think it was two years ago. So what that means is that this plant has grown all of these leaves since it's had this one, which is amazing. Um, and this was the newest leaf when I first got it. So yeah, definitely something to be proud of, the fact that it's only now just leaving us. But yeah, it's definitely getting the life sucked out of it and putting all of that energy back into the plant. I did also lose this leaf. <laughs> um, this was that leaf that came out all wonky anyways, so I'm not disappointed. It was like half a leaf, so yeah, we're okay with that. Um, I am still going to leave this leaf on until it turns completely yellow and kind of falls off on its own because, or maybe not falls off on its own, but until it becomes completely yellow, it's still serving a purpose and giving some life back to the plant. My philodendron glorious is actually doing a lot better. This was a plant that I planned to get rid of, but I wanted to give it some time to um, just adjust to being in a new spot. And it finally did put out this new leaf and it finally hardened off and it's putting out a new leaf now. So it's definitely a lot happier than it was before. If you guys don't already know, the Philodendron Glorious is actually a little hybrid of this guy here and the Philodendron Melanochrysum. I don't have a Melanochrysum to show you anymore because it's down to a stump, but it's not dead. So um, yeah, it is a hybrid. It's a beautiful hybrid and it seems to be a really hardy plant. Um, this one's never really done super poorly for me. I just had it not grow so much. So yeah, um, we're looking good there. Uh, this could probably use some water, but so could all of my plants. I don't really think that today's going to be necessarily a watering video. 
um, but more so just like a catch up and telling you what chores I maybe need to do. This is like randomly on my shelf right now, but it's super sweet actually. This is my little graduation, um, I don't even know what to call this. So it's a little box that they sent over in the mail. Oh, it got damaged. That's too bad. Because I didn't get a graduation ceremony, they sent this over. I'll show you what's inside. This here is my degree. And it just says, congratulations, Guelph grad. And then it came with this like confetti shooter thing and a really cute little flag. So yeah, I thought that was sweet. It definitely made me a little bit emotional, but um, it is what it is. My um, variegated Monstera here is doing really, really well. You can see the nice variegation on the newest leaf there. It's kind of growing pretty slowly considering the amount of light that it gets here. Um, it gets a lot of light here and it's not growing very quickly, which is strange for Monsteras. It may be the fact that it doesn't get a ton of water, but these guys typically do well with uh, a little bit of drought. But yeah, I'm really happy that I did decide to keep this one. Um, I don't really see it going anywhere. I love it in this little, um, I don't even know what this is. It's like a boho pot, whatever material it is and definitely matches the vibe of this place. And then I also have my Jade Syndapsis here that's doing really, really well. That is actually a new leaf and it's really big. <laughs> it's a lot bigger than the last leaf. Um, I think I propagated this. No, maybe I didn't. Um, but yeah, it's looking really, really nice and seems to be happy in this awesome Berg's pottery uh, pot. Honestly, I could go through every single plant, but I don't think that's really the best way to do this or this video will be a million years long. So I'm just gonna show you a couple more updates and then give you an update on my life. This is actually a plant that I wanted to give you guys an update on because I love it so much. Again, I'm not really sure what it is. It's definitely not a Monstera adansoni. People have told me it's just an undescribed species. So I'm gonna go with that, but um, look at that beautiful leaf unfurling there. It's just a really gorgeous plant and I love it on this moss pole. I think this is a moss pole that I made. Yeah, this was probably one of my first moss poles I ever made. I think they look great, to be honest. I think I um, kind of nailed the whole fishing wire thing. Looks really, really great. And then we've got a new leaf on the Anthurium crystallinum, which this hasn't had a new leaf come out in years. <laughs> Maybe not years, but definitely close to a year. So that's really exciting. I also wanted to give you guys an update on my Philodendron El Chaco Red with these beautiful red backs to the leaves. The plant did get too tall for my liking. Um, so I did propagate it and now I'm just waiting for some roots to grow so I can replant it. But I think I'm going to be much happier with this plant when it's not like 20 feet tall with nothing but these two leaves on top. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's a little dramatic, but um, this, this guy deserves a little bit more than that. So we're just gonna wait this out and hopefully it takes in the water here. So just an update from the cabinet as well. This is my Syngonium erythrophyllum, which is honestly doing so well. I haven't checked up on this plant in a little while and Honestly, I don't know. It's so pretty. This is the reason that I bought this plant. They trail so nicely. It's really different from a lot of other Syngoniums. This one seems to do a better job of trailing than most. And of course, you also get those beautiful red backs to the leaves, but you don't have to look at them if you don't want to. You can just stare at the nice black foliage if you prefer. So yeah, definitely a really, really cool plant that I always try to stay on top of so that I don't kill it. <laughs> um, but it's a really easy one in my experience. A lot of other Syngoniums need a lot of water, but I think because the leaves are thicker on this one, they seem to do a little bit better with less water. Mind you, my Syngonium Albo is actually doing really well um, with a lot of neglect too. <laughs> I mean, it is in this cabinet and it gets some nice humidity, 
Um, not a ton of light because I often forget to turn these lights on, but it is close to a window there, so it does get some natural light as well. This here is the stump of the El Chaco Red that I cut. I am going to continue to treat this as if it had leaves so that hopefully it grows some back from this little nub. I could cut this up more, but I don't really have the moss or soil to really plant these in, so they're just going to stay in the pot. And then I have my beautiful um, philodendron strawberry shake. This is a plant that I really love. I think this leaf is completely variegated. Maybe we'll see a little bit more contrast um, once it hardens. It's funny, this plant has never really gone pink for me other than this one leaf, maybe that leaf too, when it was on the windowsill in natural light. But I really did think that putting it under these artificial lights would make it more pink and I was wrong. So I may take this back out and put it in some natural light to get that pink color back. But you guys know this is a super special plant. I do eventually want to propagate it, I think, um, to maybe fund some other plants. <laughs> um, but yeah, really, really great plant that's given me no trouble at all. I really love this one. A little while back, I also chopped this guy up because the root system was rotting away and so was the stem, to be honest. The stem was getting really mushy, so I cut it back as far as I could. I think it had maybe one leaf when I put it in here, but now it's growing really happily in water. That's actually something I've considered putting my other plants in just because, um, I don't have a ton of time to be watering right now, but look how healthy and beautiful this plant has turned out. It's really happy in here and um, it's growing beautiful leaves just growing in water. Pothos love water. I don't know what it is, but they grow so great in water. So yeah, this one's going to stay in here probably permanently if I do end up having to like break this out at one point if I want to take it out, I might, but I think it has kind of grown accustomed to water life and might not do so well in soil. So for now, this is its home in the cabinet and uh, yeah, looking good. My other Hoyas in here are also doing really well, just living their life without me. <laughs> um, I've got my Hoya Quinquinervia here, Hoya Pubicalix Pink Silver, and, um, oh, what's this one called? I forget right now. But another really beautiful Hoya that I, um, I'm really happy is doing well. The only plant that really looks like it's suffering in here, and I don't know why, probably some root issues, is this, um, Campos Partuanum. Oh, that would be why. <laughs> that would be why. <laughs> Um, okay, so I thought that this plant was, you know, just maybe overwatered, but it actually got snapped off somehow. So this hasn't been attached to anything for a while. So I'm going to put this in water right now so that we don't lose it. But that is so funny. I'm glad I checked with you guys. Anyways, this part of the plant looks beautiful. It's growing a new leaf and another one. So yeah, that's hilarious. Honestly, I'm just going to throw it in with this Hoya Matilde and I'm going to top up the water because it's getting a little bit low there. Okay, I'm happy with that. It can just live up here. It looks a little bit ratty, but what are you going to do? <laughs> um, hopefully this one comes back, no problem. If it is suffering a little bit, I'll probably chop it again so that there's less leaves that it needs to provide energy for but I think it'll be fine. Well guys, I decided I'm not going to clean on camera because that's just gonna be boring for both of us. It also takes so much more time to set up the camera in a pretty angle to get that stuff done. And I really just wanna get it done today, especially because I'm not 100% back to normal. So before I do go ahead and say goodbye for this video, I did want to talk to you guys a little bit about my job. I have been loving my new job. I'm working for Fitzrovia Real Estate. I am a marketing coordinator and it's honestly such a cool and rewarding job. I've already met some really cool people 
and I'm learning so much and I feel like my skills are developing every single day. I've been thrown right into it and honestly, I think that's the best way to learn. So it's been great. I have been working from home for the most part, which has been fantastic considering I've been sick. I've actually been sick twice in the month that I've been working. And again, I'm really sorry guys that I haven't been posting. It does suck. It sucks for me too. I want to be posting for you guys, but the days have been long and the weekends have been short. So I really have wanted to take some time for me to really settle into this new routine. Um, but I, I feel like I'm going to be able to start infusing some videos back into my daily life. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. Hopefully I can get like a day in the life at work video out for you guys at some point. Right now, there's a whole lot of work to be done, so I don't want to interrupt that too much. If you guys want to see what I'm up to on a daily basis, you guys can follow all of the Instagrams that I am managing right now. I'm doing the stories for all of these Instagrams, and then I'm only doing the actual feed posts going forward for the Waverly TO. But definitely go check out these Instagrams. It's Fitzrovia Real Estate the Parker TO and the Waverly TO um, to see what I'm up to every single day. And it really helps me out because obviously we want to grow those, those Instagram um, accounts. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm sorry it was not what I said it was gonna be in the beginning of the video, but I hope that you guys enjoyed it even more because I didn't want to do chores today. I'm still gonna clean the house, but I'm gonna do it off camera. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and sticking around. If you're watching this video, I really appreciate you because I know I've been gone for so long, but yeah. Anyways, that's it for me. I forget how to close out a video. Bye. <laughs>